Now, our top story this hour, police and protesters have been clashing in western France since the morning. Violence by both sides has been reported, with the riots sparked by an environmental dispute. Our correspondent, Charlotte Dubinsky, is at the scene. This land was scheduled to be part of an airport development. Uh, many people were against that. People moved into the land. They took over. They built a commune over many years. Many people say that this is now their family land. They, they farm here, uh, and they want to protect it. The government said they had to be out by the end of the winter. Uh, they were given until last week to leave. They've been, been given an extra week's grace. And what's happening now is this is the battle between the police, the CRS, or the government, and the protesters, the Zadists, who say that this is their land and they will do anything they can to defend it. They've been throwing bottles, they've been throwing uh, fire at the police and the police have been responding in kind with tear gas. At times it felt like the, the sky was raining with tear gas here and our colleagues, RT's video agency, were caught up in that tear gas. <laughs> Well, as you can see now, the Zanis have lit fire to one of these barricades. Uh, the police are just about 100 metres down in the distance, ready there and waiting uh, for whether they're going to charge forward. And I just want you to just look around me and you can see all of the smoke. And that is because it literally has been raining down with tear gas here in Notre Dame de Land. If you look behind me, there's a, a fire being lit in the background. It is incredibly difficult to breathe. Uh, we keep being moved on by that tear gas. It's actually clawing at my skin because it hurts so much. <laughs> so I just want to take you to have a look at this, Dan. Uh, this is one of the rocks that they've been throwing at uh, the police and the gendarmerie. And I understand that one of the CRS officers has been injured by one of those projectiles, has been taken to hospital. One person who was attempting to throw a Molotov cocktail at the police, uh, but it didn't go quite so well. <laughs> As you can see behind us, the CRS and the police have come into another Zadis point. This is a point where a couple of dozen people were trying to hold off. As you can see, the police are pushing them away. There's tear gas in the air already. They've brought dogs in as well. They are absolutely determined that they will move the Zadists away from this camp. We saw one lone man with a placard saying no violence. He was taken away by the police as he was trying to peacefully resist what's happening here. What we can see is the police are now trying to push everybody away, a tactic that we've seen earlier in the day where they utilise by getting rid of all of the Zadists, all of the activists. They can then bring the bulldozers in to get rid of these buildings. This is sheer brute force by the state and it is working because they are clearing this site, a site that's been occupied for many, many years. Zad could be over faster than many people thought it would be. The clashes are still continuing. The tear gas is still being spread.